Yeah, it's good to see you, DJ Rajas. I told you, it only happens right here on hashtag Hip Hop Thursday. You got good stuff. Well, stay tuned and make sure all the way you stay locked. My name is Michelle Ashira, and it's about that time we get to dive into an interview. But before that, I would like to give a little bit of a bio about our artist who will be coming through known as Tui. So he's not just a songwriter, he's a producer and also a biotech. Wow. He has done biotechnology and he's still in music and we're speaking much more on how he could balance uh, school and still be doing music and be good at it. And in a one year time frame, he has released three music consecutively from month to month. Tui, thank you for coming through. Thank Welcome you. to the building. Thank you for having me. Okay. I'm um, Tui, as you've introduced me. Anyway. Yes. The, uh, people have to see that graphic. Have to, yeah, I mean. yeah, introduce yourself. So I'm Tui. Tui means black. And uh, as you can see, Missy light skin. Mm. Uh, uh, so, yeah. Yes. So yes, you light skin to melanin all the way. Did you just? Light skin. <laughs> <laughs> ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっと、ちょっ
Yeah, it sounds it's simple, it's catchy. Yeah, so it's yeah. catchy to the ears. So to talk about Jina Kitambulisha, it cannot slide like that. We want the Kitambulisha name. Jina Kitambulisha, Ian Ruto. Ian Ruto. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Just wow. <laughs> and then we had it to do Rajis. That's how we know that we have Kitambulisha. Today you're not escaping this one. Kitambulisha. If you want to know, pale Mpesa. Kituma, ito onesha jina. Neza kutuwa nangu kwa Mpesa, ito onesha jina. Ito onesha jina. Kwa hila tuftiki ni akazi. So, hapa wamejitata, it's true. So, make sure you send it. So, anyway, Tui, you started music way back. You started releasing them currently. And uh, tell me about uh, original, your first song. And it had a vibe from uh, an old school kind of urban youth sound. Yeah. Uh, a young you will listen to it and will just get down to it. It's just a fun kind of music. It's very hyped. I could, it's good for the, it's a club banger. So what was the message and the idea of the creation when you all sat in the studio and you decided to write the ori original? Uh, when Okay, writing or releasing it, or both? Let's go both, the process of creation and uh, the whole uh, theme and idea when you threw the mi uh, your message through the song, the origi original. Okay, uh, so when I, when I started working on the track, I was, I was slightly past my imposter syndrome phase. Mm. And I was feeling like I needed to do something that's just original. It's who I am as an artist and what I am feeling, what I have seen, and what has gone through before me posting music and me, up to me posting music, you know. So it was just about me being an original version of who I am and not being anyone else. Mm -hmm. And just saying what, what I'm feeling, who I am, what I'm saying, such. Uh, okay, so basically. what made you decide to do a refix of Booster? That beat was mad. Mm -hmm. of mad bass line. It's a very catchy beat. Uh, I'm not usually into so much of the upbeat type of beats, but then when I listen to that beat, its musicality was just awesome. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to drop uh, your own line and then you tell me which song ni me itoa. Okay, <laughs> so everyone is losing, but all you have to do is change perception. Uh, original. Original. Yes. Oh, you got it. So he's, it's his song, so he got it. So you have good uh, jumps, and I love them. So probably when just winding up, you can tell people what to expect from you, and uh, highlighting to the fact that you just released a new jam 11 hours ago. So of course you have to perform that. We are looking forward to hear the refix of Bosti. So you can tell people using coming for like a lineup of projects that you have coming up mm -hmm. because I've seen like in your time frame you're releasing music in, in a period of just this year. You have consistently two, three other songs consistently. Yeah. So tell us about your, is that the lane you're trying to go with in the, in the pace of releasing your music and uh, if any other project is coming up? Uh, okay, yes, first thing, I think that's, that's my, my path of reference because if at all I choose to be consistent in my music, two things will happen. One, I'm going to get more opportunities, statistically speaking. And then the other thing is I'm going to improve on my own as an artist, my growth. It doesn't have to be about my image or marketing, but then, yes, so you get the cash they drift. Mm -hmm. Also, for projects, this year I'm working on singles, but then I am also parallel recording okay. my project. Explain I'm what is parallel recording. Uh, I'm doing <laughs> my solo projects, okay. and I'm also working on my album. Oh, yeah. right. Yes, I love the, yeah. the move you have come with, just in a near singles and then you're hearing an album. Yes, continue. Yes, so, but I'm working on perfecting it and I'm not working on it alone. I want to team up with a, a crew, a bogey of mm. producers, mm. mostly so from the past, doing Kapuka Kitambo. Mm -hmm. uh, I just want to have some, some original vibe mm -hmm. with, with that Kenyan sound. It's hard to explain it until you listen to it. You know. 
You're okay? Yeah. So, uh, guys, remember at Y254 channel, that's for how you get us at Michelle Oshira. So, if you have any questions, comments, let them come through. All right, to you, let you use camera four. Uh, first of all, explain what is mbogi in terms of how you've. Yeah, there's just an explanation which is something to do with the bowlers and to. So, he'll give you the definition and then he'll drop the buzz uh, for this particular song known as mbogi. 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 Got it right. It's, uh, let's do this. So, uh, mbogi, mbogi kwa lugha mta just means rende or crew, a group of people because I, I decided to do it with, a, with that mbogi vibe because I'm a teamwork kind of guy, you know. And moving with a team is usually what I do. And I'm also urging many people to do it, whether musically, all those forms of uh, expressions. It would be better if you do it with someone else or assist someone else or assist each other. That's why nili kujana mbogi. Okay, so the this sound is uh, different huh? uh, in terms of compared to what you've been doing. So yes. why did you choose to take this direction? As I told you, it's it's not really a directional approach. Uh, mm -hmm. It's just a... Uh, I can also do something on this. Uh, yeah. You sure it's not vulgar? We are safe. Perfect. Uh, you sure? Oh, uh, you can do this. Yeah. Okay, I'm ready to dance. If you are going to drop this uh, bar, so I am ready. Let's do this. DJ Rajes, are we are we good? We are good. Mm, yes. Yeah. So the song is coming up, and then uh, we'll leave him to drop his lines. Yeah, and uh, we'll be coming back. Okay, we're good. Let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> 